Hello. Good evening. Um, it is Tuesday and it's ten to six and I have my dinner on so I'm just, um, I thought I'd do a little project. Um, well, my dinner's been cooked. Um, I'm going to do another mini type of, not a gatefold card but a standing up card. I'm going to use the Klein Stamp Set Itty Bitty Birthdays um, from Spring's Summer Catalogue. We've got all these lovely images for stamping on your cards. I am also going to use um, this remaining piece of the, is it, look at the mess I'm making, Needlepoint Nook DSP, alright? So I've got a scrap bit here and I've got this bit. So I'll put that to the side and I am going to use a Blackberry Bliss A4 cardstock as the card base. Now I've already got a, oops, a piece of um, cardstock here that I cut down to 11.5 by 4.1 and I, instead of scoring it at 5 and 3 quarters, I scored it at 5 and 7 eighths by accident. So because this is a sample, I'm going to use this um, to save wasting, wasting it basically. So I'll put all the measurements on my blog. Now what I want to do is, let me see, my stamping trimmer. Now this measures um, five and three quarters. So what I want to do, I am just going to, now what way will I do it so that it stands up? I'll fold this bit. This bit, um, I'm going to fold in half. I'm just doing it, eyeballing it like so. Let me get my own folder. I would recommend scoring it because this card soak is so thick. You don't want any ruffles in the, the edge. Okay, so this is going to be a card that stands up like so. Let me check it's recording. Yeah, it is. Phew! Right, and what we need to do now is find a section. We'll cut a section um, to layer up on here. And that section we're going to decorate. Um, so... This, what does this measure? I get my inches sorted. It's definitely 4 point... That's 4.2 actually by 11.3. But the half size is... Let's see what I'm getting. I should have just started from scratch. <laughs> right, I want a piece that is 5 point... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5.5. Um, Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this on the top. Let me start the, let's get the card of fish. My silly sausage. So, cut it down to 4.1. Put your other scrap to the side by 11 and a half. I'm going to trim it to 11 and a half, like so. And then I am going to score at. Get your. Trim, your trimming blade out the road, five and three quarters, all right. Ta-da! See, I'm getting good at remembering. You've got to make mistakes before you can learn from them. So I want to cut this down to just short of five and three quarters. Oh, wrong blade. Like so. Um, let me cut another bit off, actually. Take that nasty bit off. Now, what do you score it at? 2.7 eighths, I think. I really should have practiced this, sorry. 2.7 eighths should be half. That's all right. That'll do. Okay, and what we're going to do is 
just layer it up on here so that when, I don't know if you could see that, when it's finished it'll sit up like so. And we'll put something here to keep it, keep it standing up, right? Right, so, let me see. Now I want to layer this section with, I think I'll use a bit of petal pink. Petal pink, where are you, where are you? See, there's a wee scrap bit. I'll layer it up with that. And then this. So, let me trim this up. Sorry if you see my messy hair. So, I want to make this four, which is an eighth of an inch smaller than the card front. By, let me measure this again. That's five and a half, so if I do five, one point two three, five point three, five and three eighths of an inch. I was working with figures to do that's why I'm thinking five point this and five point that. So I'm gonna layer it up like so. That's quite nice. Now just let me stick this on the now. Oh, must get more glue. Whoops. There we go. Do take your time when you're gluing. Don't just throw it on like what I do. Got it on my top the last time. Right, so let's layer this up. So I want to cut a bit of DSP now. Now this pattern doesn't have any particular direction to it so um, it doesn't matter what way you cut it. Now I'm cutting it an eighth of an inch shorter and this was, I put all my measurements on the block. Trim it up a little bit more. Sometimes you can just get away with eyeballing. This is an awfully cuff card. Yeah, that'll do. That looks nice. Cool. Now, glue. Keep your scraps because you want to do a section for um, the underneath the front of the card to keep it standing up. Right, so let's just apply that like so. Okay, let me move all this out the road. Fabulous. Now you see how it's going to stand like that. How lovely. Right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to layer here as well with a petal pink and then a piece of this DSP, okay? Now, what you need to do is I'm just going to see where that sits comfortable and eyeball the measurements. I'm going to do one eighth shorter than three inches and four inches. Let me get another bit of petal pink pad stock. So four by two and seven eighths. So there's your four. See, it's good to keep these scraps. You don't know when you're going to need them. Um, two and seven eighths. And then I need to remember the size for um, making the DSP an eighth of an inch shorter. So what did we see there? That was four by, oh, I'm such a donut. Four by two and seven eighths. So you want two and six eighths. Three and six eighths by three and seven eighths. You know what that is exactly three and seven eighths, so that's fabulous. Super duper. Da, 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 da. Let me trim this up actually. I'm just not with it today. But you know what? I will measure it out properly, okay? I'm just doing an ad hoc card here. 
I just want to use this needlepoint Nook DSP. You see, it's so gorgeous. This side's also lovely if you're not keen on floral um, images, you know. Now, I did get booked for my on stage at Telford today. So I can't wait to meet all the other Team Scrimpy girls. Um, it's just going to be fabulous. Right, I'm just going to adhere this to the, the bottom. Like so, leaving a little eighth of an inch. Blackberry Bliss is just amazing, isn't it? Now you'll see, this is going to stand up. I don't know if you could see that angle. Like so. How pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right, now, what I'm going to do is, should I use the reverse of this? Hmm. No. I am going to cut this down to two inches. Right, I'm going to use a bit of Blackberry Bliss. Cut it down to two inches, right? And I'm going to get my triple banner punch. Told you I was making it up as a goal. Great if you're feeling creative and able to do this. I don't get like that often these days. Now that's going to be... Hmm, will I do it like that? Let me see. Yeah, I think I will. Right, now let me cut a piece. Oh, petal pink again. And I am running out of petal pink. So I need to do some more of that as well. Give me a wee second, sorry, while I see if I have any other bits. Yeah, here's a bit. See, save all your scraps. Right, I'll cut that just short of um, two inches, an eighth of an inch short of. And I'm going to. Now, this goes up in half inch increments, but this one's just two eighths shorter. Um, one eighth shorter. No, two eighths shorter than the two inch size, so. You've just got to eyeball it and get it in the middle. Perfect. Let me trim that up. So this measure, I'm sorry about the mess. This measures 4.1. So I'm going to cut this down to, including the banner section, there's 4.1. So if I take it to 4, we're going to get a lovely layer there. Let me tidy this mess up a little bit. Do apologise. It totally puts me off if I see too much busyness on the on the screen. So that is going to go in there like so. Now you see it needs another little bit off, so I'm just going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to snip an eighth of an inch off it. Let's see. Perfect. Right. Let me adhere that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and incorporate a little bit of vellum into this. Right, so that's going to go in there like that. And I will, I'm going to layer this up with the DSP as well. Let me trim this bit again. So I want It's going to be two eighths of an inch shorter than two inches. My oh, spin's got a pie in for us to eat. I'm not even hungry, but I'm going to try and eat something. <clears throat> it smells lush, but it takes an hour, I think it is, it's to be in there for. Right, so there we go. So, <clears throat> sorted. Right, let me get a bit of vellum and I'll try sampling that. Now, let me see vellum, vellum. Where are you? Uh, 
Right. Now I'm not sure you the packet because it's a, it's a different brand, I'm afraid. Like I say, I am trying um, to get organised. Oh, see, that's going to be fabulous. That's going to be amazing. Now, I wonder if I was to use... Yeah, I'm going to use um, my stitched label framelit dies and I am going to cut out a bit of vellum like that. I think that would be lovely on there. And I'll stamp the image, um, the sentiment in the middle. So, let me get my... There's also this lovely... No, that is that frame lit. There's other ones in this. These are all in the um, annual catalogue. Um, I've not played with these a lot at all. But it's because I didn't pick my sets very well. Um, there's stamp sets that these work wonders with that I didn't buy. Um, but I will get organised. So let me file that away just now. I've got stuff sitting on the top of my big shot. Oh, Sadie. Right, let me get my project out the road. <clears throat> Right, so, you need to be careful with the vellum though because if you catch it in anything it will score and I'm wanting to keep the front of it nice for um, stamping on, so, now, because this is so thin I might need to put an extra shim in, um, not because the framelits are dodgy or anything but it's whether the vellum cuts now you see that's not quite caught it so I'll just put that back on and it just pops right back in hold it let me get a bit of scrap let me use this bit of blackberry bliss if you first you don't succeed try again Sorry if this is wobbling. <clears throat> um, oh, that's better. Ping, ping. All the little bits come out. You could use your pokey tool as well, but here we go. See, that's better. And you can see all the excess parts in there. Let me file this away. Right, that's it. I'll keep that bit in there and I'll use that another time for a little extra shim thickness. Right, so here we go. Now, let me see. If I put that there. Now, I was going to use this itty bitty birthdays. Now, because this card does look rather elegant, um, I want to use the right font. So if I was to use Birthday Wishes and incorporate another stamp set into that. Um, let me look now. So if we do Birthday Wishes, know that a friend is thinking of you. Oh, I think that will be fantastic. All right. Okay, so let's get this out. Now, um, these are my cling stamps, but I'm having issues. I don't know who else is. Oh, there we go. Be careful when you're peeling them off. If you pull it too hard and it takes the the cling section away from your sponge you're going to ruin your stamp so be careful with that so i've got that one and i am going to do birthday wishes which is this one now stopping biting your nails and using cling stamps is a perfect combination because you can just peel it off properly right so let me get a stamping block here i have my little block and I'm trying to think 
what color I'll go, I'm going to use a Blackberry Bliss. You'll see in this DSP, there's Blackberry Bliss in here, as well as um, Highland Heather, Bami Blue, etc. Pineapple Punch. But because the card base um, is this, I'm going to use that coordinating ink. So I'm going to do this one first, which is Birthday Wishes. Now, let me get my Blackberry Bliss. Again, it's at the bottom of my ink pile. Which is kind of bad, because that means I haven't used it in a wee while. Here we go. And again, if you just pop it open, how fab. Right, now, I don't, I've not even used this sentiment yet. So let's get this centred. Now you could use a bit of washi tape if you like. Hang on, there's a wee bit to come out of there. Um, you can use washi tape and adhere that down temporarily. But I, I'm just going to eyeball it. So let's see. Birthday wishes. Lovely, lovely. Oh, I've been in such a silly mood today. But it's better than being crabby, isn't it? Better than being boring. I'm in pain today, so much pain, you would not believe it. But you know what, I'm still smiling. I've forced myself to just get on with things today. Right, let's stamp this, sorry. Enough about me. Oh, how fabulous is that? Can you see that all right? Lovely. Now, I'll need to find a little coordinating embellishment to go with that. Right, let's, um, let's close this ink pad. The less it's open, the longer it will last. Right, I'll wash my stamps later. Now, let me get a mouthful of coffee, sorry. Now, if I wanted, I could have put behind this um, the sample one that I've already cut. You know, if you wanted to see more of the sentiment than anything else. Um, but I don't think the white, this uh, was by white, looks as good on this card. So I'll go back to my original plan. You could also even use the reverse side of the DSP. Um, it's entirely up to you. Now, if you see here on this stamp, the cute little love heart. I just love the fonts that they, they use at Stamping Up and the, and the sentiments are just brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Right, now, what am I going to do in terms of ribbon? Right, let me see. Let's build the card now. Now, you might find this too busy, too much of the one DSP, but you can um, just use plain cardstock um, on the on the top layer, whatever you like. you just got to play around. That's the best way to learn. So, let me make sure that is in line before it's stuck at a stuck duck for good. There we go. That's it. Now, make sure you burnish this bit properly. How fab. Can you see the angle that's going to sit at? Lovely. Now, for the purpose of this, let's flatten it. Um, now, see if you want to just to do that as well. Oh, wow. You know what? I'm going to ditch this, not in the bin, I'm going to use that for another project. I'm going to use just a plain, plain bit of, um, what do you want to call it, Blackberry Bliss. Now I'm going to cut it um, four inch by, four inch by two inch, let's see. Make sure it's um, pressed up against both these sections so you don't cut it squint. This is only trimmer, genuinely, that I've found that um, 
cut straight. And I've spent oh, well over £50 on various ones altogether. I've had found stamping up earlier. I could have got it for 28 And then Bob's your uncle. Sorted. Right. Wow. That is just beautiful. I love that. Right, let's adhere it. Now, how am I going to do this? I think I'll keep it flat. I don't think it needs to be three-dimensional. Or should I do that? What I don't want is um, the glue showing up. So let me just dab a few bits. And I think this is going to show underneath. Oh no, oh no, it's not, it's not, it's not. Take it back. That's fab. Oh yes, it is. Take it back. Right, let's scrap that. What am I going to do with that then? Oh, there we go. That is a bit better actually. Once it dries slightly, just ignore me. That's not too bad. It should go clear. Um... It should go clear once it's dried, but unfortunately, I can't um, sit here and blow on it for you. Right, so let me get dimensionals, and I'm going to layer this up. Now, I would use standard dimensionals for this if you're you're adhering a if you're attaching a, a bigger section. And then it's less work, but I don't have the, the big ones yet. Still don't have the big ones. Oh dear. Oh, my fingers are sore. Sorry if this is um, going on a bit too long. But I'm quite liking talking to myself blogging now. Let me see if it's still in, in picture it is. Right, so let's apply you to here. Oh, how fabulous. Right, give me a second to clear up a little bit. Oh, shouldn't really put it on the floor. I've just not long had the cleaning done. See, that is fabulous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use another one of the framelit dies and apply another little section down here because I think that'll go pretty nice. So, let me see what one. I think this one will look very pretty. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Right, let's put that to the side. Let's get my big shot again. Oh, save it. Still got my scrap pieces in there. Um, a little bit of vellum. There's my scissors. Oh. Right, so no point in cutting off more, more than you need. Right, so here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Now, pop it like that. Watch you don't knock it out of place. Can you see that? Okay. You should only need to do it a few times. Wow. There we go. Right. Let's get the hose out the road. this put away and again all the little extra die cut bits have fallen out now I'm going to stamp this so let's see birthday wishes know that today a friend is thinking of you Um, I think that looks nice and let's surprise them with a little cheeky stamp which says you're not old, you're just older. Yeah. You're not old, you're just older, where are you? Yeah. 
so it starts off nice and nice and um, cute and friendly and then a little reassurance one in there my god I, I'm not half waffling sometimes I've not even got the energy to talk but when I talk e bag or my talk lovely this is going to be a smashing font right let me um get this lined up like so fab oh, that's awesome that's fabulous now um let's see if this needs layered up new new you know what I'll just I think I'll put it on the front no I won't oh god I can't decide now let me just put a little dot I'll put it where I was originally going to put it which is down here all right now what you could do to make this stand out a little bit more is get your finger dauber sponge and maybe just um, take the blackberry bliss around the, the edges of it. Might get that closed. Okay, let's see if I have any suitable embellishments. Now, I've got the Gingham Gala adhesive back sequins and one of their um, colours is Highland Heather. Um, which you can see in this DSP, so that coordinates well, even though it's from a different set. So um, don't be shy mixing them up. Now I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply to the flowers to each side of this die cut framelit. Oh. I'll give you a close up in a wee second of that. Okay, and I am, should I put some flowers on this one? No, I'll put some normal sequins, okay. Now, I'm just going to pop them. <laughs> no, I'm not going to pop them random, I'll take it back. That's just drawing the attention to the fact that I've got glue there. You know what, I'm not very good at placing embellishments and stuff, but I can now see I've done this a bit squint, but you know what, it doesn't matter. If you've got more time, please do take your time lining it up. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, lost a sequence there. Right, so I think that is me done. Um... I do like to tidy as I go along. I do apologise. Um, but I think that looks fab. Let's see if you can get a close-up. That's how it would stand. Now this will go in a C, C6 envelope. Which is just bigger than A5, I'm sure. If I remember right. Isn't this gorgeous? How lovely. Now, I did have out the coordinating ribbon. This is a celebration item. Not just this, but another four rolls of this in various colours. Um, that would have looked nice, possibly un in between those two layers with a little bow, or even on the front here um, with a little bow. So I do suggest that before you actually apply your layers to your card base to have a little play around and see what you fancy. I think that would have set it off perfect. Um, I think I'll maybe just quickly do a little bow if I can manage it. And I'll stick that on using a glue dot or, or a bit adhesive. Now, I don't know about you, but... How hard is it to do bows when you're videoing? Now you need to be careful because if you pull this 
um, ribbon too much, you're going to give it a misshapen look. There, I think that's fine. Now I'm going to give it a little banner finish, a banner edge. Is that what you call it? I think it is. And if I put that on there, I think that just finishes it off nicely. Um, or you could put it, put it up here, put it in the center. But because I have this empty space, I'm going to pop it there. And you know what? I'm actually going to take off these sequins and um, use them on a different project. Um, because I think it's too busy then to use these um, this little gorgeous ribbon. And I'd rather put the ribbon on it. Let me get a little glue dot. Maybe it's just stuck to my nail. Try again, Trisha. And I am just going to put it here, like so. Oh, sticky, sticky, sticky. Loose the bin. There we have it. Let me trim this up a little bit, though. One end's a little uh, longer than the other. So there we have it. Let's recap. We have the needle point nook. DSP, I'll link everything in my blog. Um, we have the Gingham Gala adhesive back, well, self adhesive sequins, which are here. I will recycle them. We've got the Highland Heather Celebration freebie when you spend £45, not including post and pack. Um, we have the stitched framelit dies, these are in the main catalogue. Um, really good storage for those. I have used both the Kling Stampsy Itibertibersties Spring Summer catalog item, as well as the uh, celebration part of my story. This is also a freebie if you spend forty five pounds, not including post and pack. Now I think that's fabulous. A gorgeous stamp set like this for nothing, or five reels of these various gorgeous coloured. Um, oh, what kind of ribbon is it? I can't remember, but you can see it's almost lacy and it has a lovely um, silk finish to the edges there. Okay, so um, let me know what you think. Hop on over to my blog, give it a little try yourself. And uh, there we go, a lovely trifold card, that's what it's called. Okay, speak soon, bye.